Hello? I have one question for you. Just one question. Have you subscribed to Yvonne channel? Yes, I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. Just subscribe. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. He's telling me that he needs to subscribe to Yvonne channel. Yvonne channel. Yvonne channel. Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed. They have subscribed. What are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and the notification bell. I know you will do it. Thank you. Get, get this phone to your mom. Okay. Hello? Good afternoon. Please, who's this? Hello? Who was that? A man. He didn't mention his name. The line just went dead. Bad network, I guess. Maybe. I will okay. take you guys to the cinema. No, you will. Because course, they said you yeah, just want to stay with that. Yeah, I'm definitely going and I'm going to have big chicken. What do you say you want to have? Chicken. Chicken? Yes. Yeah, chicken. Right. you have on your head is the most beautiful haircut. Flattery? Uh, no. Bribery? No. Honestly, you look cute and clean. Thank you, uh, my learned colleague. Who is your learned colleague? I've always told you, 
Only we lawyers are learned. All of our professionals are learning. Eh? See, done there. Yeah, Joe. Look, look at what your mother is saying. <laughs> Who is it, me? Yeah. Uh, they say, don't, don't yes. worry, be with your mother. Oh, yeah, you are going to jacuzzi. <laughs> you will go to jacuzzi. This is why these children are so quiet today. <laughs> oh, my phone! It's ringing. Uh -uh. Where is it? Oh! It's here. Oh, alright. The same number. The same number? Yeah. Pick it. Okay. okay. Hello? Good afternoon. Yeah, hello? Hello? Dead again. That person must be a joker. He tries that naughty stuff again. I'll block him. What's the number? Mm, it ends with 5568. Noted for action. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. Why now? What? You didn't see that? Somebody threw an empty bottle of water out of the car in front of us. I don't know why our people are like this. Human dignity should tell every right-thinking person that it is wrong to, to, to throw anything on our road. <sighs> Keeping our environment clean is the responsibility of everybody and not just the government. You can say that again. Ah, they just throw all this thing and litter the road and, Man, and, and we, we begin to talk about government, government, government every all the time. time. When um, our own personal, you know, our own personal courts, we, 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 we've trashed it. Oh, we That's number again. Hello. Hello. Uh, is this Mr. Adirola Williams? Yes. You've actually called this number twice today. Yes, it was a woman who picked the calls. The line went dead on both occasions. Yes, sir. Because the message I have is for you. Who? Oh, you actually terminated the calls? Sorry, who are you? I am Mr. Christopher Obi, the chief lab technician at Airflow Diagnostic Center. Airflow? Yeah, you recently conducted a DNA test at our center. Oh, yes, I remember. And, um... You sent the test result via email. That's exactly why I'm calling you. I'm afraid the test result we sent to you was the wrong one. You mean? I mean the result with you is not the correct one. But the result bears my name and my children's names. I'm sorry, sir. Please, can you come to our office? I can, but I won't. Because I can't make any sense out of what you are saying. You gave me a test result, only to call me two weeks later to tell me that the result was the wrong one. Sir, the error is highly regretted. I'm indeed very sorry. That's all right. The result here with me says the children are mine. So what difference does it make if I call it the new result? A big difference, sir. Uh, if you don't mind. Can I reveal the real result to you here and now? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I'm listening. Uh, um, those children are not yours. Says who? The authentic test result. Are you out of your mind? The alleged father is excluded as the biological father of the tested children. This conclusion is based on the non-matching alleles observed at... This, what, what, what's this? The correct result, sir. My children are not my children. Unfortunately, sir. 
This is the truth. <laughs> and you said the former result was a mistake? The former result was not a mistake. It was done intentionally. You mean you gave me a wrong result intentionally? Mr. Man, I, 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 are you on drugs? Uh, no, sir. Of course you are. No, sir. Then why? I mean, what is pushing you to do this? My conscience. I can't hide the truth any longer. Sir, somebody is behind all this. Yes, so okay, me. <laughs> Everything is not back to normal. Wait, oh. Did you guys say normal? <laughs> no! <laughs> Super normal! <laughs> you need to see my husband. Hmm. He's now always all over me, like a butterfly sucking pollen from a hibiscus flower. <laughs> it's just as if we got married yesterday. Two days after you and your children came to submit your samples for the DNA test, a woman came here to our center. She requested to see me. She sat right where you are sitting now. She introduced herself as Mrs. Tolatej Williams. That's my wife. That was what she said. What did she come for? She came to beg me for a favor. And before I could say a word, she went on her knees and begged me to save her marriage. She eventually burst into tears. Honestly, I was confused. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> hmm. Ha! Ah, I thank God for saving my marriage. Hmm. The devil failed big time. Ah. I've learned all. Oh. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. If I cannot control what will come out of my mouth, I would rather not speak when I'm angry. Ha. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Kemi. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, great the family. All right, then. Yeah. <laughs> I managed to calm her down and get her to talk. She confessed to me that you are not the true father of the children in your house. She said she knew that the DNA test result will eventually reveal the truth and expose unfaithfulness. My wife said that. She begged me to manipulate the result in her favor. And, and you did. I told her it was unethical to do that. I told her it was criminal to do that. What you eventually did? She pressed me so hard. I stood my ground. No. You shifted grounds. You eventually manipulated the result. I'm sorry, sir. I couldn't resist the money she offered me. Oh. oh. She, she offered you a bribe? A fat one. She promised to transfer the money to me. But I told her I preferred cash. Oh. She left and came back with the money the following afternoon. And you went on to give me the fake result that says the children are mine. Whereas the true result says the children are not mine. I'm sorry, sir. You are still here. Mm, I need some time to meditate. That was what you told me before I went to bed last night. It's half past one in the morning. Dear, what is the matter? This was the same question you asked me when I returned from work yesterday. Yes, 
when I noticed your countenance was not good. I told you there was no problem. I believed you then. But now I know. I'm sure something is bothering your mind. You're my husband. I know you very well. What is it? I said I'm okay. Prove it. How? Give me a smile. Not good enough, but I'll manage it. One more thing. What? Come back to bed. the woman and repeat everything you just told me? Oh, yes, sir. Are you sure you're not trying to blackmail an innocent woman? Uh -uh. Blackmail? Why? What for? I'm doing this because my conscience will not allow me to rest. Uh, do you have a Bible there? Yes. In the car. Please, get it, sir. Why? I want to use it to swear. No, 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 no. No need for that. In any case, thanks for your time. You're welcome, sir. This is a hard knot. Very, very hard. Only God can help us to crack it. Bro Williams, do you trust your wife? I want to trust her. Was that an answer? I mean, I believe I trust her. You still have not answered my question. A yes or a no will do. Do you trust your wife? I don't know, sir. I'm confused. Sir, I don't know what to do. Pray. I can't pray. Why not? I can't bring myself to pray because I'm not in the right frame of mind to pray. I tried it last night. As soon as I knelt down and closed my eyes to pray, different thoughts began to run riot in my mind. I was hearing a cacophony of voices in my ears. My head was heavy. Honestly, I thought I was running mad. <laughs> this terrible experience did not stop until I opened my eyes and jumped to my feet. Since then, I have not been able to bring myself to pray. Hmm. That is the devil's strategy. That is what he uses to cheat believers that are passing through challenges of life. He tries to clog their minds with what they are battling with to stop them from praying. Not to worry. There is another powerful weapon. Satan cannot stand this weapon. What? Praise. Switch to praise. It honors God and confuses the devil. You see, when you pray, your situation is taken to God. But when you praise, God himself comes down to your situation. Remember Paul and Silas? Yes, sir. Good. Go ahead. Praise God, the heart will quake. This prison door will be blown open. Amen. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. <sighs> sir, should I confront my wife with the allegation? No, no, not for now. This is a time bomb. Let us seek the face of the Lord to know how best to, to defuse the bomb without recording any casualty. Let us keep praising God and praying to Him. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. In the meantime, please, let the atmosphere in your home return to normal. Since you have allowed God to intervene, then 
you must allow peace to reign. Hmm? I pray God will help me. I say amen to your prayer. I'm happy you can pray again. <laughs> <laughs> sir, can I take my leave? Oh, yes. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Yeah. Children, how are you? Great. How was school? So I hope you enjoyed yourself. Yes. And you finished your food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what of your mom? She's very excited. Wow, 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 wow. You guys are looking good. Welcome, dear. How is everything? Fine, thank you. How was your day? Splendid, and yours too. Fine, fine. You're looking good today. You can say that again. Hope you today finish your food. Ah, we try. Okay, ma. Uh, let me give it to him. Oh, okay. Hello, ma. Fine, ma. Thank you, ma. Okay, ma. When, ma? Okay, okay. Thank you very much, ma. My greetings to daddy. Thank you, ma. Bye, ma. Uh, Pastor said you would like to see us this evening. That was what she told me too. I hope all is well. I believe so. <laughs> there's, there's no problem. Eat your food now. I'll eat, I'll eat. Sir, uh, <laughs> I, I don't understand what my husband just said. Sister Williams, do you know Airflow Diagnostic Center? Yes, sir. It is not far from Dambata Shopping Mall, along Brooks Avenue. The place is conspicuous. Nobody can miss it. Did you go there? No. I have never stepped foot on their premises. Did you meet Mr. Christopher Obi? I have never heard that name in my life. Not to talk of meeting him. <laughs> Sister Williams, what you're saying is that what your husband said the man said is not true. Absolutely untrue. At best, <laughs> it must be a figment of somebody's imagination. That Mr. Obi must be hallucinating. What he said did not happen at all. Hmm. Not to worry. We will get to the root of this. Ha. Ah. Madam, you said you have never met me before. You said you did not bribe me to help you to change the result of the DNA test. Ha. Ah. Why don't you fear God? You are the one who doesn't fear God. Mr. Man, where on earth did I meet you? When did I give any money to you? Eh? When? Where? Mrs. Williams, I decided to open up and tell the truth because my conscience will not allow me to rest. Please, open up too. Tell the truth. If not for anything, at least for God's sake. Give me that rubbish. <laughs> hey, you want to subject me to emotional blackmail, is that not? <laughs> no. I won't fall for it. I don't know you. I have never met you. I don't have any deal with you. No problem. God who knows everything will judge between the two of us. <laughs> Listen, 
before God's judgment, the earthly judge must hear this matter. I will sue you for defamation of character. I will sue you for character assassination. I will sue you for peddling falsehood. I will sue you. Adam, you can sue me for whatever you like. I won't stop telling the truth. Because deep down in your heart, you know what is there. Hmm. I didn't summon this meeting for a hot exchange of words. I summoned this meeting for us to clear the air on the naughty issue we have in our hands. Um, Mr. Obi, I would like to ask you just one more question. Are you really sure this is the woman you saw? I mean, maybe you are mistaking her for another woman. No, sir. She is the one. I don't know why she's denying it. No problem. We have to end this meeting now. Uh, shall we pray? <laughs> Father, we thank you for this meeting. Trust me. I do. Then why didn't you tell me before telling the pastor? I didn't know how to put this to you. I believed the pastor will know how best to tell you. And uh, besides, I don't want to break your heart. <laughs> but you ended up not just breaking my heart. You shattered it. Dear, you've been married for 12. Yes. You know what I can and cannot do? You know I can never lie to you. Yes, I know. Then why did you choose to believe the voice of a stranger and disbelieve my own side of the story? Well, it's, um, it's, it's just that... What? I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Please forgive me. Hmm? No, 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 no. Don't believe that. Those are crocodile tears. Women, it says you don't know them. A woman can do anything to make a man do anything. Have you ever thought about this? God Almighty instructed Adam not to eat the forbidden fruit. His wife, Eve, offered Adam the same fruit and he ate it without batting an eyelid. What do you call that? Woman power. Eve implanted Adam and made him do what he wouldn't have done. Mr. Williams, don't allow your wife to hypnotize you with her crocodile tears. For the sake of your sanity, continue to dig into this matter until you get to his truth. Don't allow anybody, especially another woman, to take you for a ride. That is my two cents for you. In any case, let me have the fire. Hello? Hello, Mr. Obi. This is Mr. Williams. Yes, I know. Mr. Williams. Why don't you people leave me out of your family problem? Huh? I have already told you all I know about this matter. And my conscience is clear. If you choose to believe me. Good. If you choose to believe your wife. Good. But please, leave me alone. No, no. Mr. Obi, you see, we... Uh, Look, 
I didn't plan for this back and forth meetings. I'm already tired. You people are not allowing me to do my work, to face my work. Yes, I know, I know. I'm sorry for everything. But just one more question. Uh, uh, that was what your pastor said at the meeting yesterday. Just one more question. Mr. Obi, you said my wife paid you to manipulate the results. I told you that before. She bribed me. How much? Ask your wife. Mr. Obi, can you remember the exact date that my wife brought this money to you? I can't. Um, but it was three days after you and your children came to submit your samples at the center. <laughs> Good. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. April 14th. And he said it was three days after we. That is um, April 17th. I checked through my diary to confirm the date my children and I went for the test. It was April 14th. And I calculated three days after. It fell on the exact day that I received a debit alert on my phone, April 17th. Hmm. Since it was your wife that made the withdrawal, how come you are the one that received the debit alert? It's a joint account, sir. Any of us can withdraw money from that account without informing the other person. He, my number was registered for bank alert. I see. Did you ask your wife what the withdrawal was meant for? Daddy, there is no need beating about the bush. My wife made the big withdrawal on April 17th. Mr. Obi said he was paid this huge amount of money on April 17th. This is beyond a coincidence, sir. Even an apprentice detective can link the dots. To know that the money she withdrew was the same money she used to bribe the DNA man. You have not answered my question. I said, did you ask your wife what the withdrawal was meant for? Yes, sir. She said it was none of my business. You see? She was hiding. She said that? Yes, sir. I told him it was none of his business because I was still annoyed with him for not trusting me. That was before the issue was resolved then. After the issue was resolved, did you tell him what you would do the money for? No, sir. Why not? He didn't ask again. Now, what did you use the money for? I deposited it into my personal savings account from where I transferred it to my children's school for the upcoming school excursion to Victoria Falls. I have the debit alert on my phone. No, don't bother. I even have the receipt from the school in the study. That's all right. Sir, does my husband think I use the money for something else? Hello? Hello. Please, is this Mr. Christopher Obi of Hair Flow Diagnostic Center? Sorry, who is this? I'm James Saru. I'm calling from the B Division of the State Police. I'm the IP who handling the case between you and uh, one Mrs. Olateju Williams. Oh, she has reported me to you. Uh, that's okay. Uh, sorry, how did you get my number? You don't ask a police officer that question. We can get anything except we don't want to get it. In any case, uh, Mr. Obi, please report in our station at 13.00 hours tomorrow. 13.00 hours? That is 1 p.m. Okay? Okay. 
Brother and Sister Williams, I'm sure the two of you know that Satan is the one rocking the boat of your marriage. We thank God who has not allowed the boat to capsize. Please, continue to allow peace to reign while we continue to pray. Uh, have your seat. <clears throat> we trust God to help us unravel the mystery. As a matter of fact, God told me the truth shall be revealed in his own way and very soon. Amen. His own way. God's own way. Yes, but Daddy, that does not stop the police from investigating the matter to unravel the mystery. Yes, yes. But taking that step at this time may be counterproductive. Sister Williams, the whole thing may blow up into a big scandal. And that is what the media loves to fish on. Imagine the headline, popular lawyer in married so mess. We don't need that. Besides, the negative publicity will not do your children any good. I'm sorry, Ma. I've already made a report at the police station. Oh. Well, no problem with that. Let the police go on with their investigations into the matter. And we shall go on with our own supplications to the one who matters. God. In any case, we invited you here to inform you that uh, Mommy and I will be going to Canada tomorrow. We will not be around for about two weeks. We have some administrations over there. It pays us so much that we won't be physically around to proceed with you on this matter. But not to worry, we will continue to pray along with you over there. Meanwhile, we want to ask Pastor B, the pastor in charge of our headquarters church, to take over the proceedings of this matter from where we stopped. Is that okay by you? Good. In that case, I will give Pastor B all the necessary details. I will also arrange a meeting for the two of you to meet with him after the Bible study in the church this evening. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank, thank, you, thank sir. you, sir. We thank God. Everything will be fine. Officer, hmm. that woman is only trying to save face. She knows what she did. She knows there is no altar of truth in her claim that she doesn't know me. She knows me. She bribed me. She made me do what I did. Do you know that what you did? I mean, is when a fake resort to her husband is criminal. And you can be charged for it. Very well. And I'm ready to bear the consequence of my crime. I'm ready for anything, including going to jail. To, just to clear my conscience. What I'm not convenient with are the lies that woman is telling. Mr. Obi, it is your word against us. Do you have any witness? Uh, yes, sir. Two of them. All right. Number one, a friend was in my office the day the woman brought the money. He saw her. I asked this friend to excuse us. Number two, a lab technologist whom I connived with to issue the fake results. I even gave him part of the bribe which I collected from the woman. Okay. Uh, you can speak with the two of them if you so wish. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, Bob Williams. Ah, mommy, good afternoon, ma. Good morning from here. Oh, 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 oh yes, yes. How was the flight, ma? Smooth, thanks to God. And how is daddy? Daddy is fine. He's in the bathroom. He told me to call you. What of your wife? She's at home. I'm at the automobile workshop. All right. Um, Bro Williams, daddy and I discussed something during our flight here. Don't 
don't you think... Carrying out another DNA test will help resolve this matter? I don't understand, ma'am. I mean, you and the children should go to a new DNA center and conduct a fresh test. We have agreed to bear the cost of this fresh test. But, mommy, we, we already have one result in our hands. No, two results. The so-called fake result and the so-called real result. Which result would you believe? We have a feeling that that Mr. Obi might be up to some mischief. But, mommy, the man sounds confident and convincing. That is where the problem is. We are sure that God who knows everything would help us to unravel this mystery, and soon too. In the meantime, we are suggesting a fresh DNA test. Brother Williams? M Ma? What do you have to say? Mommy, what, what, what if... Hello? What if my wife discovers the new center and goes there behind me to... To do what? No, Bro Williams. I can't believe this is coming out of your mouth. No, no, no. This is a disappointment. This means you have lost faith in your wife. This means you've been believing the man's word against your wife's. I'm, 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 no, no, ma, no, ma. Yes, you just proved it. I'm, I'm sorry, ma. That's all right. Pastor B said he met with you. Yes, ma. He held a meeting with me, my wife, and Mr. Hobie. Unfortunately, the meeting almost ended in a fisticuff between my wife and Mr. Hobie. Yes, Pastor B told us everything. He said the man was angry because your wife reported him to the police. No problem. We'll continue to pray. We believe that God will reveal the truth. And soon too. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Dear, what are you doing here all alone? C.S.O. What's that? That man. Which man? Christopher Obi. He is C.S.O. Chief Security Officer? No, I mean he's also known as C.S.O. C.S.O.? CSO, this is supposed to be a title, right? Uh, no, sir. Uh, CSO, that's what people call me. Uh, it's the abbreviation of my full name, uh, Christopher Solomon Obi. Uh, my full name is also there. Oh, good. Look, Mr. CSO, let me advise you. Deny the obvious in this matter will not help you. No, it won't. You ran into a commercial bike rider and killed him. Agreed, it was an accident, but it was caused by your carelessness. Ah, uh, no, sir. The man ran into me. Uh, but the other four commercial bike riders, who were the scene of the accident, said you were the one who bust out of their journey road without checking. Uh, I hit the bike rider. Uh, no, no, officer. It was the other way around. Uh, it was the bike rider who actually hit this man's car. How did you know that? Uh, well, I was driving right behind this man when the accident happened. But the other bike riders said they also witnessed the accident. Oh, no, no. Big lie. None of them was there. The first one arrived about three minutes after the accident had happened. In fact, he met me and this man trying to help the badly injured bike rider off the road. The others met us there. Um, what's your relationship with this man? 
None. I had never met him before today. Uh, actually, uh, I decided to follow him here because I noticed that the other bike riders were trying to turn the case against him. Uh, actually, I was on my way to minister at the church program, but I have since called the organizers to let them know I'll come in a little late because I see this as a Samaritan assignment. You're a pastor, am I right? Oh, right, Pastor B. Kalejai. Um, Pastor B. Kalejai, I can see you are willing to stick out your neck for this man. Uh, well, actually, not just for him, uh, but for the truth. I cannot close my eyes to the truth and allow an innocent man to suffer unjustly. Can you write a statement stating all you know about the incident? Oh, sure. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. You are Pastor B. How on earth did I forget your face? <laughs> well, it's been a long time. Uh, besides, I've added a little weight. That day, you took a big risk to stand for me, a complete stranger. Ah. I remember you eventually missed the administration you were going for that day. Ah, sir, you saved me that day. Actually, God did. He only used me. He also used the lawyer who stood for you in court. Thank you, sir. Well, it may interest you to know that that woman was involved in your case. Which woman? Mrs. Williams. She's a lawyer. And uh, being a member of our church, she was the one I contacted to defend you in court. She was very forthcoming. In fact, she was willing and uh, ready to appear for you personally in court. But uh, unfortunately, she couldn't because she was billed for another court matter in Abuja. So she delegated a senior lawyer from her chamber to come and defend you in court. Well, in essence, it was Mrs. Williams' chamber who stood for you free of charge. Sir, uh, which Mrs. Williams are you talking about? Oh, Mrs. Olateji Williams, the same woman whose husband you said you gave a wrong result to. That is the woman. Ha! Ha! Uh, excuse me. Sorry? Where are you going to? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm pressed. I want to go and use myself. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> My God. What is it? That is the woman. Ha! Ah, I have a confession to make. One week after we sent the first DNA result to you, my younger sister came visiting from Enugu. She met me in the office. While seated, she saw the hard copy of your test result on my table. She saw the name Adirola Williams on the test sheet. She said the name sounded familiar to her. On inquiry, she got to know that it was the same Adirola Williams she knew back then in the university. She went as far as to input your number on the phone app just to check your profile. She said you attended the same Christian fellowship. Who is that? Eunice Obi. Eunice. Oh, yes, that's true. She was one year my junior in the university. She studied pharmacy. Correct. She said you proposed to her, and uh, after a while, she accepted your proposal. A few weeks before you graduated from the university, she said you uh, invited her to a place known as Power Ground on campus. She said you told her some things. Sister Eunice, I invited you here just to pledge my, my unwavering loyalty and commitment to the relationship between the two of us. As you very well know, 
I will be graduating in a few weeks. I want you to rest assured that you will always be on my mind. Honestly, I can't wait to take you to the altar. But I have no choice. I have to wait for you to round off your studies too. By God's grace, I will be there for you. I beg, please, don't walk out on me. By God's grace, I won't. Brother Derola, you can also count on me that I will keep faith to this relationship. Thank you. Thank you. Let us pray. You remember? Eunice held on to those words you spoke to her that day. According to her, she refused all other proposals that came from different brothers just because of you. Towards the end of your NYSC, she noticed that you were keeping away from her. You rarely pick her calls. You managed to respond to some of her text messages and social media chats with one-word answers. In short, you gave her a total blackout. She was shocked when she read online that you were getting married to another lady. She thought it was a joke until she confirmed it. You had your wedding ceremony in Akure? Yes. Eunice traveled all the way from Enugu to attend the ceremony. Her plan was to go and disrupt the wedding. But she changed her mind. She left the church quietly after the two of you have been joined together. And her life never remained the same after that. She turned her back on God. And she stopped going to church. She slipped into depression. She literally ran mad. It was God and medical intervention restored her mind. Eunice has since been looking for a man to marry her without a success. Hmm. This is serious. On that fateful day, when she stumbled on your test result in my office, she said you were the man who spoke good words to suit her heart. And in the end, used a fairy sword to pierce it. She said she was going to take a pound of flesh. She begged me to find a way to tell you that the first result we sent to you was the wrong one. And give you another one stating that the children are not yours. Uh, and you did? Uh, I didn't want to. But my sister was in tears. And I really felt for her. And besides, I was personally convinced that Mr. Williams was a heartless man who doesn't deserve a happy home. Brother Williams? Yes, sir. You can see the fruit of the words you spoke to Eunice that day. Huh? Those words were spoken when you never meant them. But the innocent lady held on to them. Huh? Now, Mr. Obi, yes, the last time I came to your office, you told me you had already presented uh, two witnesses to the police on this matter. Uh, that is your lab technologist and a friend, am I right? Yeah. Uh, and you even told me you were ready to present the, uh, those witnesses to testify before me too. Sir, uh, those people did not witness anything. <laughs> because nothing happened. I paid them to testify. The truth is that before this whole incident, I did not know Mrs. Williams anywhere. I had never met her anywhere. Now, why are you confessing? Uh, uh, sir, I... You know everything. I told you everything. Uh, but they don't know. Tell them everything.
You have been on the phone for long. Yes. I've been trying to reach Pastor B, but the calls are not going through. It must be network glitch. Take some time and try again. Right? When I eventually knew that was the same Mrs. Williams whose home I was trying to break, who sent a lawyer from her chamber to defend me free of charge, I was overwhelmed with a sense of guilt. Uh, Madam, you never knew me, yet you stood and fought for my freedom. I remember when the lawyer you sent from your chamber won the case for me. I requested for an opportunity to meet and thank you. But you sent your Pastor B back to me. <laughs> that it was not necessary. That you did what you did for God. God is my witness. The original test result we sent to you was the correct one. Those children are your children. Thank you, Jesus. Please. I'm sorry for making the two of you go through this unnecessary pain. I'm indeed sorry. Thank you, Lord. Please, forgive me. Oh. Please, thank you, Lord. Please forgive me. Oh. Hello, sir. Hello, Daddy. Ah, good day, sir. Oh, I I'm sorry about that, sir. Really, I've been busy with the assignment you gave to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir? I have good news for you. The battle is over. God has given us the victory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, exactly. What happened is this, sir?
actions, actions, oh, 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 I will watch my tongue.